Hi, it's Chef Susan, and I am making an uh, original recipe that I developed a number of years ago, and it's orzo um, that's been cooked with, uh, coated with brown butter and then roasted butternut squash and crispy sage. Um, and then also, the, you can see the sage crumbles as I stir it. <clears throat> and then some cubed uh, goat cheese, <clears throat> which just gives it some nice creaminess. And then um, I'm not going to stir it too much because it's pretty much done. Once the roasting is done, you're just stirring some of the flavors together. You don't want the goat cheese to completely disappear into the recipe, um, but you also don't want big chunks. So I'm just going to turn this around a little bit. I'm going to add the toasted pine nuts. You could also use hazelnuts. Uh, this particular client um, probably better suited for pine nuts and it will be just as delicious. And it just gives a little um, nutty flavor without overwhelming the dish. And then once I plate it, I'm going to be garnishing it with some bacon. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to taste it and make sure that the seasoning is appropriate with the right amount of salt and also some pepper. I don't imagine it will need too much salt because along the way, every stage, um, the roasted uh, butternut squash has been salted and peppered and the caramelized onions have also been um, added a little salt to it and also cooking the um, pasta, I also salted that. So it shouldn't be over salted. It should really be just about right. So I'll do a taste, um, plate this, and then we're good to go. What's really nice is when I garnish, um, there's still some um, sage leaves that I can pull out and put on the top, which makes it really fun.